Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to be deploying a BEP20 token so on the Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to run you through how to operate the contract. I'm going to also show you how to deploy it on mainnet and also how to add liquidity. So this is going to be a full tutorial in terms of launching your own cryptocurrencies. Everything you need to know. It may be a long video but we're going to go through everything now and I'll try and be as quick as possible. So I'll do it step by step so you know exactly what to do. So the code of the contract is here. I'll put it in the link in the description so you can find it. There's probably a Telegram group where you go and then the description will be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click new file and we're on Remix Ethereum. Again, link is in the description. So I'll call it rainbow.soul. So it's just a random name. You call it whatever you want. First thing I want to do is copy this. You'll obviously have the text file and we got a few things to do. So I want to click over to here. And we want to make sure autocompiler is on. Click advanced configurations, enable optimization. Now it was automatically picked up the compiler version, but this is 0 0.76. Now you can obviously upgrade the contract and then change the compiler version, whatever, but this is fine to use. I've run many, I think about seven million dollar market caps with this token. Uh, contract so it's really good now what we want to do is we want to change the name of the contract there's a few things to go through so you can either control F or you can search from here so this is the reward that we're going to be paying so we can change it to anything we want so if we want it to be I don't know USDT for example what you can do it pays a reward in, in USDT so I'll go over to here and click the contract it's case sensitive, so this is the best place to find the actual code. Go back to here, and we're gonna stick it in here. So this will pay our holders in USDT. So if anyone holds it from there, that's probably the best thing to do. So we wanna find new, and I believe it's new name. So we wanna find, change the name to rainbow here. And we wanna also change the name to rainbow here. And we'll call it rain so that's a symbol and a ticker obviously total supply you can change that however it's times by 10 six 10 decimals uh, off of that so now we're going to change the tax so we're going to leave uh, liquidity we're going to change this later anyway but we're going to put the sell multiplier down to 100 i'm going to show you how to operate the, all of this in the contract anyway so it's not an issue um, so just pretty much you don't have to change any code we're going to change it after that anyway so from here on in, we want to make sure it's Solidity default just in case. And we want to do injected provider into MetaMask. Now that's connected my wallet onto MetaMask. And we're going to go to rainbow.so and hopefully deploy this. And it should be working perfectly. I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost. It's $7 pretty cheap. So we'll deploy that right now. And what I want to do is I want to take my token if it's successfully deployed. And I want to go to BSE scan. Put your wallet in here. I deployed one earlier, um, but this is the actual contract. So it's deployed seven minutes ago. Click rain and we can open, for example, the token into PooCoin. And what that will show us if we connect our wallet, it doesn't want to connect, but that's our token deployed. That's our supply and it's, oh yeah, it has connected. So it's shown me I have the full balance. Now what we need to do is we need to add liquidity to it now. So I'm gonna go over to, I'm in incognito, but we'll open it here. And I wanna click liquidity. So now we wanna add liquidity. I'm gonna go to V2, add liquidity. They've changed how they're running it. It's very different now, but we'll persevere. So again, it's shown, I mean, this is very annoying because it's, so it's shown the pair is not created, but I won't add, let me add. try to import from here add liquidity okay so that's the best way to do it so I want to add one BNB and I want to add max amount and we're going to enable our rain here and what this does is just to confirm we want to spend the max amount just click approve and it's going to prompt us to click add once this liquidity is add people can't trade the token yet we need to change a few things in the contract 
So you can add liquidity anytime you want. That's obviously for people to trade. So we'll go back. So liquidity is added. We can double check that on PooCoin. And the liquidity is there, but people can't trade. So first thing we want to do is copy the code. Go over to Rainbow. Click the contract. And it's not verified. So if I go here, I can't operate the contract. It tells me to verify the source. So what we want to do is click here. And it's just to prove you actually deployed and you own the contract. Um, anyone can verify a contract. I've done it for other people. They just need to send me the code. Copy here. Click optimization. Scroll down and verify and publish. Now what this will do is it will enable you to operate the contract. You'll need this when you run the token. You'll make changes to taxes, stuff like that. Um, so we'll go over to here and we'll click right. Now this is the important part. I'll try and whiz through it as quick as possible. I'll connect my wallet. I've got a few changes to go through. So I won't touch on everything, but the most important one is stuck balance. There is some tax that comes here. So 1% on sales is built into the contract. No one can change that. Um, once it builds up there, so if, you, if you've had some trading and some sales and buys, you get an extra tax going to the contract. So you can keep that as a tax for yourself or you can use it as a buyback. Sometimes they use it as a buyback. Sometimes it's more just for development, etc. So it's out of 100. So if I want to clear all of it or send it all to my marketing wallet, it, I put 100 in here. Or if I want to clear 50%, I put 50. So it's 1% uh, is obviously 1%. 50 is 50% 50 and then 100 is all of it. So we've got an enable blacklist function. So I might want to turn that off. You can have it on. That means if you want someone's address blacklisted, meaning they're unable to trade. So if there's a sniper bot or some malicious traders come in, you can blacklist them. I don't typically use that after or before launch. So if you want to do that, you just click their address and you click true and you write it. You can also put false if you want to switch it off on there as well now liquidity providers where you receive the fees so your marketing tax um, will go to let's just put it to my wallets and then click right and then for the set fees we want one percent liquidity like i said we can change the tax i always do it here just in case so we want i don't know two percent rewards and we want four percent marketing and we click 100 and you'd write it so I'm going to write that function. So that means our total tax will be 7 for buy and sell. Now if I wanted 14 for buy and sell, for example, you would go to sell multiplier. So if I wanted to double my sell tax, you'd put 200. If you want to triple it, you'd put uh, 300. So sometimes you can have like 2% buy tax um, and you can have 8 or 15 so if you want it the same, just click 100. I think we put 100 in the contract, but I'll put it now. I don't like, I don't typically have higher sell tax than buy tax um, with this. So this is a few more things. This is important. This is max wallet. So it's out of 1,000, meaning 1,000 is 100. So there's no max wallet. If I want 1%, you just put 10. So for this video, I'm going to do, I don't know, 30. So which will mean that's 3% max transaction. And I'll just write that. And we'll do 30 for the max wallet as well. And I think we're done pretty much. So if you wanted to exempt someone you blacklisted, exempt them from rewards as well. Um, and we can do that. And trading status. Once we put true here. Or you can put false to switch it off. That'll be it. So we'll click true. And we'll write that function now. And it should be tradable, so we can go ahead and purchase our rainbow coin. So there should be no balance on my end. So we've had some bots buy, which is good because we can test uh, the rewards going through. And I'll do a purchase now. We'll buy 0 0.1. Now, so these are bots. You can see the time has come. They've all come in the same block. And I'll purchase that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this now just to check everything works. So I'll approve that. And 
And a good little trick is if you switch trading on and off, the bots usually sell uh, as well. So if you have that issue and you don't want to redeploy or blacklist them, you can switch it off. So I'm going to sell now just to check it's all working and, you know, everything runs smoothly. We can do that. And obviously our sell will come through here. So this is the contract sell now. And what that's done is our contract set to sell at 3 million tokens. So you can go into your contract. And when someone sells, the tokens go into the contract. Which is this section. Remember I said about the stock balance? That's a bit of money that's gone in there. So there's 7 million in there. So that means the contract will sell three more times. If you want to adjust that, you would go to read, this is the easiest way, swap back settings, swap back threshold. So copy that number, that means that's 3 million. Yeah, because it's 3 million plus nine zeros in the end. Um, what I want to do is, again, connect your wallet. And there's a swap back setting here. So I want to put the amount here. So let's say I wanted to put it to, I don't know, 1 million. I'll put 1 and then put true and then enable there. So that's pretty much it in terms of running the token. This is the part where you start to promote listing websites. You also, importantly, you need to lock liquidity as well. So take this. I'll use Mudra as an example. You put your contract in here. You put max. So that's all my tokens and you'd lock it for a year. Approve, lock. You can use different lockers. There's pink lock, which is free. And there's so many now, actually. So I use Mudra 0 0.1 to lock anyway. So... But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.